Hello and welcome to the non-Greg Sterless, Greg Sterless Show. This week, Greg Sterless Free. Except Sorry. only the substitutes. That's Diet us. <laughs> Diet Greg. That's the, that's the Pamazon and... Hello. <laughs> you are drinking beer? Not bad. <laughs> but that's not an alcoholic beer. You said it's quite delicious. It's oh, it's so good. Beer. Yeah. Near beer. Yes, the IPA correct, one does. is good too, but I like this one just a little bit more. It tastes like a better version of Blue Moon. Oh, okay. okay. It's very citrusy. It tastes like lemons and oranges mixed with that's really that tasty beer. Mm, that sounds good, but I can't have beer, so I have to drink these shits. Or the gluten free beers, which. You know, you, you can you can convince yourself they generally taste like beer. <laughs> I don't think they're bad. They don't the really taste like is, beer, but they the best, Well, the omission one tastes like beer. That one tastes like beer. Fun. And then the gluteny one tastes like beer, but it, it almost killed me and gave me like a really horrible migraines every time I drank <sighs> it, so I couldn't drink it anymore. I think I heard that all beer used to be non-alcoholic, or at least most of it. Like, it was expected to be a non-alcoholic be beverage like hundreds of years ago, but then it just became... Because uh, people wouldn't drink it fast enough. Oh really? I didn't know that. Uh, that's my guess. Oh. Well, I just I just heard that it was common and yeah, thing that people would you drink. You drink the water because that would kill you. Yeah, oh, that's what I heard. So it was pretty much people go. drink also beer, good... which was more commonly non-alcoholic than yes. as opposed to now, where it's switched. So no, I was just earlier remembering what you said when you took the kitty to the vet. We have a new kitty oh, yeah, who yeah. I have not bought on yet because. Sadly, he um, developed an upper respiratory infection and he is sick. Um, <laughs> He's also a little wobbly boy. He's a wobbly boy. He has uh, CH. Uh, I don't he know. is a liquid cat. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yes, he's, he's very liquid and sweet. Um, yes. But um, they said he so was he stepping in something liquid and sweet. They're like, did you kind of have any access to maple syrup? <laughs> And I'm like, uh, why? Well, we think he smells like maple syrup. And then they bring in another person. Does this cat smell like St. Maple Syrup? And she's like, yes, it does. So, um, would he possibly, uh, have gotten in any maple syrup? Uh, no, I don't think so. And then they're pulling stuff out of his little box I brought him in. This looks crystallized. I think they're talking about his pee. They're like, this is the maple syrup. And it's a rock, And right? it's a rock. It's some kind of, like, yellow rock that was in there for some reason. And they were telling me it was maple syrup, but I don't think it was maple syrup. <laughs> And doing a boot there with the maple syrup. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe he's a Canadian cat, but he just kept asking. They're like, so does he have he access to maple syrup? Is there like, he could be. I mean, he swam across the frost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think that's the funniest thing, because to me, he smelled like he was very he's, ill and had a very no, bad No, he smells infection. gross. He, he smells, smells sick. really terrible. And they're like, they're he like, smells like delicious maple two syrup. Two people said it. <laughs> And they kept, they at least like four or five times, they're like, so does he have access to maple syrup? Is there a lot of maple open maple syrup containers in your house? Uh, no. That just cracks me up. Like, we just leave trays of maple syrup around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like there's just a vat of infertus women. Yeah, and he jumps in. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like pulling apart his fur, looking for little maple syrup chunks. And then... I'm just like, uh, no, I don't. I don't think he's in the maple syrup. I don't think that's the problem. <laughs> Please treat my cat. He's yes. sick. But about that syrup. <laughs> Maybe it was those pancakes he made for us the other morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, oh, sorry. I, that just cracks me up so so much. I don't know why. Just the surreal idea of we just have maple syrup lying around. This is very funny. No, that's okay. I don't. Did you ever know. eat the maple syrup candy, the sugar candy? Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, I love that stuff too. That's when I was so a kid, I mean, it's just like let's just eat a block of sugar. But it, I haven't it's seen so it good. a long time though. I have not seen it either. My one of my favorite candies too is maple cream. Oh, I don't see those maple too cream. often either. No, you don't. That's what my I love those though. I'm not a big fan of the creams, but if I have to have a cream, I'd be much happier to have it be maple than something like raspberry or. No, orange. those ones are gross. I don't like any. I I like buttercream and maple cream, and that's about it. Yeah, those are the those are the, those are the only cream winners. But, yeah, the other ones are disgusting. I know they're nasty. Like I'll eat it, I guess, but I don't know. It was very I don't not know. good. Damn, damn gross cream. Don't put cream in my chocolate. When we were kids, we, of course, did the thing where you poke the bottoms, you know. And I remember my mom said, oh, you, you kids are so good. You don't poke the bottoms to see what they are. And we're like, 
What? <laughs> I don't understand. Then everybody. Well, why didn't you just read what it says on top? Because they don't all have a little map. Well, they they got... don't all have a delightful candy map. Well, okay. No, it's true. Not all of them have a delightful candy map. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I thought they all kind of had a little marking on the top. Nope. Some... Life was like a box of chocolates. <laughs> I've never Read seen that the movie. Map and you find where you go. <laughs> you uh. find which, your way to the best chocolates. Yo, no, there was no map. Stay away from those coconut ones. Oh, I like the coconut. Oh, I don't no. know if I've ever had that. Coconut and chocolate? That sounds... I don't know. Come on. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes Oh, you those don't. ones. Oh, I love mounds. There's mounds and there's almond joy. I like them both. I like mounds because I like the dark chocolate. Yeah. But I wish that they had the almonds in them. Yeah, too too. That would be the perfect, would be the perfect pair. I don't find almonds as much as I find almond joys. I'll find them sometimes, but yeah, that's just that's sad because well, I mean, I guess people don't. A lot of people don't like coconut. It seems it's one of those love hate things like black licorice. And by the way, that's the only real licorice. Red licorice is not licorice. That is, it's cherry gummy crap. I mean, strawberry gummy crap. It is not licorice. It's a, licorice is the actual flavor. I like the pink Twizzlers, those, but not the red ones. But I like the pink ones. Hmm. Those ones were like the cherry flavored ones. Yes. But I like black licorice way more because it is licorice. But the red ones, it's uh, red vines are the most disgusting version. I hate those. Do we even do you even see Twizzlers that often anymore? Well, I don't they, know. I don't really eat. They, I don't eat candy that much. And when I do, I buy like you know. From a local candy maker. You because... buy the gourmet candy. Yes, I buy the gourmet because I very rarely buy candy. So I buy the gourmet and I eat my gourmet and I'm delighted and I wait, you know, like a month or whatever. I mean, I like Hershey's, but other than Yeah, that, Hershey's is good for Hershey's over the Hershey's gets way so much. It gets so much hate. It's like people like, I think they only hate it because it's an American chocolate, but it's like, it's good. Like I know Europeans are like, it's fancier supposedly, but like, it's like, yeah, but it's specifically Hershey's that says a specific taste. And I like that sort of acidity it has. <laughs> what? But I like that you said the acidity of Hershey's. Well, it is. It's not like overly sweet like that European like milk chocolate. You, yeah. You, you, I don't really, I like the dark chocolate better, but. Yeah. I like dark chocolate better, too, but I think Hershey's milk chocolate is pretty good. But I like Hershey's dark chocolate, too. I like the Hershey's with the almonds. Without the almonds, I can... I'm just like, mmm. But if it has the almonds... The almonds is the best one. That is the best one, yeah. I also like Fifth Avenue bars. What are they? Uh, that's the one... What's in them? It's... I, I forget. I think it's, like, uh, chocolate and uh, peanut butter brittle. Oh, okay. That's okay. The Hershey's Fifth Avenues I used to like. But I don't. I don't know. I think a lot of uh, European chocolate, if it's milk chocolate, is too sweet. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of the sponge candy. Just saying. Yeah, it's all right. it's the only one I like is I. I think most people make it really gross, but I. I like it okay from Coed. It's okay, but the most fun is to bite it and stick your tongue on on it and watch it dissolve. But it's not really so much no. fun eating it. But uh, yeah, it's it's not my favorite. I mean, I'll eat it. But I don't know. What's in your lap there? Oh, I don't know. I just wanted, I brought it up because why not? I have my little epic comic book saga I've been working on for like years. This is the second issue. I don't know. It's not really finished. So I just figured I'd bring it because like, look at that. Come on. She grabs a bunch of monkeys with turbans on, squishes them with her tongue till all the guts fly out and their heads pop off and just eats mm. it. Mm. That's funny. Come on. <laughs> I just like the idea of monkeys and turbans. Let's see if I can find another fun panel. Oh, this is the one where uh, she goes digging, and uh, she's trying to find her way out of this toilet, but then she ends up in hell, and then she ends up in heaven, and she, Jesus is like, oh, yes, my daughter. And he's like, damn it, I don't have time to talk to you, Jesus. But then Jesus comes back. She's calling for a god. And she's like, damn it, Jesus, I didn't call you. If I call you, if I needed, like, a carpenter or, like, some wine or something. And then she's like, I kind of feel kind of bad for Jesus. I don't think he has any friends. And then, I, I don't know. <laughs> I can neither, <clears throat> conf I can neither confirm or deny that Jesus has friends. Doesn't I mean, have any friends. I, mean, I, I don't know, but I just kind of like the idea that she feels sorry for Jesus. So she says she'll invite him over at the end of the comic. But the, oh, that's I like this part. But I don't know. I just I've been working on this for a long time. 
I've been I've been worked on it for multiple sides of the coast. Oh, here's a good scene. I've worked on it from coast to coast. It's been worked on the East Coast. I've dropped it in the Atlantic Ocean once. I've dropped it in the Pacific Ocean. I thought I was never gonna get it back. How did you get it back? The wave sent it back in my backpack, which I thought it was gonna be all wet, but somehow it wasn't. Oh, that's awesome. I was I was I was trying to help this girl who was surfing. And I was like, just standing there, and Andy's like, uh, dude. And it's like, I know a giant wave takes me. That wasn't fun. Oh, it got you too. <laughs> yeah, it did. Well, you're like a cat. You don't like getting wet. No, I hate it. It's disgusting. <laughs> I feel like soggy, <laughs> disgusting toast. I am the opposite of that. I will jump in the water, and I, yes. I don't mind being I'm quite eaten. delighted by swimming and all that. Well, once I'm in the water, I'm fine. It's the getting out part that I don't like. It's gross. And you feel wet and disgusting. You get that weird feeling on your skin for like the whole day and your day is just ruined. For a whole day? <laughs> I swear, my skin feels disgusting a whole day after I get wet. That's very... Huh. Okay. 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 Especially after I take a shower. It's disgusting. I feel way <laughs> dirtier after I take a shower. I hate it. I got nothing. That does not happen. I do not understand. No one ever agrees with you. me on this. <laughs> no, I don't think anybody... Most people feel that way. I, I would guess that you're in the vast major, uh, minority. It just feels so disgusting. If you feel that way, please call us 406-754. <laughs> we would like to know. Ugh, and how can you like stand with your hair? It's got that weird like feeling. It's all soggy. <laughs> you can just your your skin feels all wrong. You can even sometimes feel it the next day when you wake up. It's like, ugh, God, the day is just ruined already. <laughs> I don't have that problem. I don't. I don't understand. I don't. I used to swim a lot, but uh, the pool I have access to has like so much chlorine in it. It's kind of brutal, so I I stopped because it was hurting my eyes and it was hurting my skin and my hair. It was really so strong. Yeah, it's that's. Ugh. I don't know. That sounds bad, but it was bad. Water is ugh, disgusting. It's like it's meant to be drunk, not. Don't put it on yourselves. It's weird. Stop. It's. Ugh. Welcome to the swimming pool. Yeah. <laughs> Sponsored by Clorox. <laughs> Pretty much. I yes. mean, can't they like, have some kind of like dry cleaning for humans, or like you don't have to get wet? Like I don't know. It's just gross. I don't. Yeah, I don't think humans can. I don't think that'll work. No, I don't mind taking a bath as much, but. Sh I still don't like the feeling after. It's not as bad, but it's still pretty gross. Ugh. Well. Disgusting. It's garbage. <laughs> I've never met anyone else who agreed with me on that, but. Yeah, that does. That's that doesn't surprise me. Like I don't understand. I feel way dirtier afterwards because your skin feels all wrong and disgusting. <laughs> Especially your hair. Your head feels all cold and weird and wet. Yes. Okay. What else you got up here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I got Sonic Archaeology. I've got two copies left for anybody who talks to me. I've got them. You can get one yourself. Just let me know. They're really fun. I love Sonic Archaeology. Everything on this was recorded on the auto harp. And it's really oh, fun. Oh, how nice. But there's two left. If anyone wants them, they're limited numbered. All handmade. That is that is lovely. Yeah, I don't know, but I just don't. Oh, also, Unsalted Volume Two. I also have two copies left for anyone who wants one of those. They're all really fun. Just message me. They're really cool. I, the last Unsalted came out like six years ago. It's been a long time. So is Unsalted a series? Yeah, it's a okay. So there's I have Cyber Peanut, which none of you ever really seen. But Cyber Peanut has we we just record. It's just me. And there's another guy on acoustic guitar, and we just write a bunch of songs, and but then that we warp them really weird digitally, but the but uh, and make albums out of them. But then the unwarped versions are the unsalted versions. There's like we have like eight albums. Oh, I see. Okay. But then the unsalted versions are the unedited versions of the songs. I try to get Joe to come on the show all the time. But he's like, nah, whatever. I don't feel like it. Oh, is it Joe who does it with you? Yeah, because he's a wuss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It takes a lot of courage to come on this show. Yeah, come on, Joe. I know. <laughs> I wish you would just just come on the show, Joe, for God's sake. 
I mean, I, I do so much music with Joe. I did all my music with Joe before I met Andy, and then, you know, you obviously I do it with now. But, I mean, for the most part, it was Joe. Joe was, has done, like, the vast majority of music I've made with someone else, at least. Because <clears throat> I've got Metallic Diaper, Cyber Peanut. He's on some Captain Johnny Sausage. Mostly that's just me. But he's on Joe Fi and... Uh, uh, Straw Hats. There's there's a bunch of stuff I've done with Joe. There's so many albums I'm on with Joe. But whatever. I don't know. He's being a baby and won't come on. Well, maybe he will in the, f in the future. Yeah, come on, Joe. In the future. In the very far away future. Well, hopefully he's... I don't know. He said he's going to the Philippines again, which hopefully he comes back from. Don't go to the Philippines, Joe. Why would you go there? Like, I mean... Isn't that where his girlfriend is? Yeah, but, like, I don't know. I just... It just seems like a place for... For going to a place where you don't speak the language, you don't really have any money. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Come on the I mean, show. I went to places where I don't speak the language. <laughs> yeah, but at least you were with people you knew. I was, that's true. And um every every time and yeah, so at one place in uh, there was a fair amount of people I mean not a ton, but there was a bunch who could speak English, so enough. Uh one of the places there were not very many English speakers. There was very few. And in fact the the, the fact that we spoke English made us quite the like like a target, right? Um well, well, well. I went to Belarus, so Belarus, uh, at the time I went there in 2009, was not l in love with the United States, for sure. I, um, pro they might like them more now with our treasonous president, but um, at any rate. Um, so I went there, and yeah, the government definitely kept an eye on us. There were very few U.S. citizens in Belarus at the time. They'd thrown them all out, so, you know, when someone heard... English being spoken, if it was on the streets, they found it really intriguing. But, you know, also, we were also kind of under a watchful eye the whole time. Yeah, I don't know. It was, it was interesting. I mean, I never been in that situation for, for sure. It was pretty wild. Yeah, I want to go somewhere crazy. Penelope, where are you from? I want to go to your, uh, your well, home. Well, we also had, like... We had minders, but they also were there to make sure we didn't get in trouble. So, <laughs> like, we didn't do anything that we could normally do in America and somehow get in trouble. I want to go to, like, Kyrgyzstan. I don't know. I don't know that that's the best place to go. <laughs> it seems like it might not be. Any, yeah, I don't know. But I like I like the idea of, uh, oh, I've always wanted to go to Uzbekistan. That's a great name. Yeah. Oh, what? Are, or, or Tajikistan? Any of the? Any of the Tajikistan, like, yes. Tajikistan, because Tajik Jimmy is one of my f favorite performers. You've talked about him before. Yeah, Tajik Jimmy is great. He's this Tajikistani guy who lives in Uzbekistan who sings in Hindi, and his only instrument is a milk bucket. He's not Indian, but he speaks in Hindi. Well, he doesn't speak it. He doesn't even know what he's saying. <laughs> but he just kind of thinks it's fun. Which I just find fascinating. Hi, girl. She's just going to love the mic stands and not jump up. She's very angry that we have another kitty. She's like, I thought this was my turn to be the star. But the reality of the situation was that Penelope can kind of, you know. <laughs> she's sometimes she love us, loves us, but sometimes, you know, she's very yeah. indifferent to our existence. She can be the ice queen if she feels like it. She can. I've also always wanted to go to Mongolia. I've been obsessively looking at maps of Mongolia lately because I just like the idea of Mongolia. More outer Mongolia than inner Mongolia. But Mongolia just seems so weird. Like, there's like, it's just so weird. There's so little, like, forest there. It's just like, I don't know. The, the lake's what's, the. What's that? Sorry. It's just, <laughs> I don't know, just giant statues and horses and planes and the forests that are there look crazy. And people ride reindeer instead of horses and. Really? Yeah, a lot of them do. Well, some of them, they ride horses, too. There's, there's a lot of horse culture in Mongolia. And the Mongolian, like, if you look at Mongolian transcript, like, it's crazy. Mongolian scripts are it's really weird. Not as much as, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, what's that other one? What's that other Asian script that's nearby? Uh, 
Tibetan script is real weird. <laughs> like, I, I love hearing the songs sung in Tibetan. Like, there's this one girl on YouTube who sings songs in Tibetan. They're so good. But Mongolia looks... It's just so, like... It's like a alien planet or something. It's, 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 the culture there is just so different than anything else I've seen. It's so fascinating. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Mongolia. And then there's that one place where the language... The, it's, the only way it's written is in knots. Knots? Yeah. Like, in string? Yeah, like oh. the, the written language is only conveyed through knots. Huh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's real weird. I, I don't know. I've always... The most place I'd probably want to go is, like... Israel or something. I'd love to go to Jerusalem. I would love. It's been my dream to make a live in Jerusalem album. I've always wanted to do that. It's so cool because there's all the all the music clubs in Jerusalem look so cool. Or even just like uh, Damascus or something. I don't know. Just any any cool ancient place like that. That does sound fun. It, remember that one night we were just looking at really obscure countries and stuff in them. That was. Fun. They no. were so obscure, I don't remember the names of any of the countries. Like, I like to go to websites of countries that are really obscure and yes. see how bad the websites are made. Oh, jeez. Some of them don't even function. Like, if you go to the <laughs> Armenian website, it's, like, barely... You, it's got a bunch of dead links to nothing and stuff. Aww. It's like The website for Batavia is way better. <laughs> no comment. Or not Batavia. <laughs> I was looking at the website for... Um, Sparta, and it was way oh, better. Oh, really? It was way better. No, Sparta. I'm a Spartan. But I mean, uh, you know. It is true. Armenia's probably got like 20 people living there, so. I mean, Sparta's probably got like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Armenia has more people than Sparta, New no. York. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Sparta, New York is is very, very um it's very Spartan, yes. There's not a lot of people. That's on another place farms. I'd love to go to. I'd love to go to the real Sparta and play a show. Be yeah, amazing. I don't know. Just any cool ancient city I want to go. But like being all sweet is that because people were playing with a kitten earlier and you want to be like, no, I'm not replaceable. <laughs> I just, Look at me. I'm very loving. I know that kitten's loving, but I'm loving. God damn it. <laughs> Penelope can be. She's just. It's just she has to think about it. She's. Mm -hmm. like, well, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the idea of playing a club in Jerusalem that's like. 3,000 years old or something. I mean, you look at some of those buildings. They're just so crazy. Like, I don't know. I want to go to the same nightclub as Jesus. That sounds Well, fun. there was nothing like that in Belarus because uh, it had been well, flattened. Well, yeah, it's been destroyed. <laughs> During World War II, it was just, I think there was like one church or something that hadn't been flattened. Yeah, yeah, it's real. It's It's been pretty, lots of Europe's been pretty destroyed, but that one seems like it hit particularly hard, you were saying. Yeah. Well, um, Prague had not, so Prague has all its original buildings and stuff. What was it? It's very, very, very beautiful in Prague. Well, I heard that, what's his name, said that that was destroyed, but then they, I heard they rebuilt it in, like, the early 2000s, because I remember, what's his name, Kurt Vonnegut said that it looked like uh, Dayton, Ohio, when he went there in, like, the 90s. What, Prague? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, no, no, I'm thinking of the German one. Never mind. One of those German cities. Uh, I there's a lot of them. Berlin? No, I, mean, I think it was Berlin. <laughs> it was one of them. But I remember, uh, I was watching a thing where Kurt Vonnegut said it looked like. He, he said it was beautiful when he was there, but then he, he was bombed while he was in the war. He, and when Dresden? He could, it might have been. It was one was. of them. But... If I remember correctly, I don't, don't know. <coughs> Kurt Vonnegut's one of my faves. Yeah. He's so fun. Yeah, Curtis is cool. <laughs> Curtis? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's a Curtis. I don't either, but... It's a good Kentucky Kurt. <laughs> Hi, girl. I think... I don't know. What's the craziest place I played? Uh, I went to a church that was built in, like, the 1500s. Yeah, they had one of those in Prague. It was really... The, the feeling inside it was really weird because it seemed like... You would think it would seem like it was full of energy, but it seemed just the opposite. Like, every bit of energy had just been sapped out of it. It was very strange. That seems very weird. Yeah. It was... I've always wanted to go to the church in, like, Bethlehem. Like, those I also think real... Jamestown, New York is a very weird place. <laughs> um, Jamestown well, is weird. Well, if the darkness was there for some reason, he posted a picture of somebody riding their bike. And they had, like, a deer attached to their bike. They just shot with a bow. <laughs> they were biking the deer home. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> 
Which had to suck, because Jamestown is incredibly hilly. Yeah, that's not good. Well, when I was in Silver Creek the other day, I met the guy with the world's biggest Beavis and Butthead collection in Silver Creek. But it was very fascinating, just a place. It was so tiny. Yeah. Well, it's near Dunkirk. Oh, okay. Yep, and... If you'd kept going, you would have hit Dunkirk, which we went to before, right? Yeah, I've been... Oh, speaking of which, Sean Beard, the guy with the collection, messaged me today asking if he could come out and be on the show. He wants to talk about his collection. He can do that. Yes. All he has to do is do it. He's a very nice... He's a very nice guy. He's, a, he's pretty famous. He's the most... He's the most... Supposedly the most well-known noise artist in the world. That's like being... Yeah. Well, never mind. I'm not gonna... Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's like being the, the king of the, like, socks or something. All right. The best figure skater in Latvia or something, or not even Latvia. That's the wrong place, because they probably have good figure skaters. No, I was going to say, I think they're known for <laughs> Yeah, that. right. Wait, they're the best figure skaters. No, I know what you're saying. That's like, you know, you're the biggest know. kid in kindergarten. Like, all right, yeah. who cares? I mean, even he says that. <laughs> it's like being the best figure skater in Sparta, New York. <laughs> There's quite possibly zero figure skaters. I used to try and do figure skating. It was really hard, though. It hurt my ankles. I can't skate anymore. It's too ha it's too painful. Yeah, I never skated. I roller skated. I can't do that either. I used to do that with Jackie. I didn't have... I had those old school, you know, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Those are the only ones I can use. I don't like the other ones. <laughs> the roller blades. I don't like roller blades. Roller skates I can at least do. I've seen so many people get really destroyed on roller blades. I'm a little bit like, mm, I don't, yeah, no thanks. They seem too hard. I don't really like them. I mean, roller skates make kind of sense, but... I haven't even seen regular roller skates in years. I don't like roller blades. I think they're stupid. Yeah, they're... I, although I was walking on Unity Island, I had to remember the new name, and um, this little lady is staring towards me on rollerblades, and she's like, it's a great day! It's like, wow. that's the life. Holy crap, I hope when I'm a little lady I can tear around on rollerblades. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your rollerblades. On Unity Island, where the pavement is not that great. <laughs> if you're really old, you come home with rollerblades. I'm taking them away. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> she was so happy. Would you really take her happiness away? No, but I, you're too clumsy. <laughs> I'm accident prone. Exactly. I'm very accident prone. It's true. Oh, Penelope matches my pants. Especially if there's open potholes. Yes, yeah, so or manholes. Yeah, that's definitely true. I don't know. I mean, you can have them, but don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, I don't want roller blades. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't. Roller skates are fine. Like I said, I used to roller skate with Jackie, but she was real bad at it. She was? Well... I mean, huh. she crashed a lot, but it didn't seem to matter. She still liked it. Well, you know. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I need to get out. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember. This was, like, probably, like, we were really little. This is probably, like, more than 20 years ago. We were little kids. I, I don't even think I was eight years old. Jackie was, because she's older than me. But... Yes, I was I was very much a daredevil when I was little. I was very crazy. Yeah, you got to be. Uh, what's that guy? Uh, what's that? What's Duke Devlin? No. What's the, what's the what's the famous guy with the evil Knievel? You yes. you can be Pamela Knievel. <laughs> I was just you know a kid and just I had we had a dirt bike that was a whole heck of a lot of danger. Our dadless have the keys to the truck to farm cho chores. That oh was bad. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> I had a teacher get fired at of school for doing that. She was too drunk to drive to work, so she made her, like, 16-year-old daughter drive her to work. Yeah. And she got fired. We're not 16. Like it oh, it doesn't. Poor girl. Well, tune in next week to see how Penelope's doing, friends. <laughs> see the thrilling conclusion to Penelope's belly rubs. <laughs> I'm trying to get her spread her legs out because she looks like a little man. There we go. <laughs> With furry pants on. <laughs> She's a little tiny person in a cat suit. With furry pants on. Penelope's. She'd be such a fashionable girl if she was a person.
She's always got her eyeliner on. That's true. Penelope's got good makeup 406 7754 Give us a call. You ever notice that phones replaced makeup mirrors? I was thinking about that.